just got cleaning up so I got stuff laying everywhere but I do have this tire on now it's all painted up I need to take I got some silver on the tire so I'm going to try and take some paint thinner and get that off the only thing I have left to do is I'm going to try and move these wheels in further this is about all the further I can get it to go out when we put the tire on so I'm going to try and take two blocks of wood and two hammers and try and see if I can turn the wheel. If that don't work, I'm just going to put it all back together, leave it that way, wait till I get the tractor running and use the tractor to spin them out. Other than that, I got that front tire on. I have the rim for the other tire laying in the back of my truck. I had a hole in it, so I got that welded up. The black's all done. I got it finished. It the last coat on, I just need to tape it off for when I do the orange. But I got a pretty good, I took my time and really did a good job on this. It's a little quite dusty yet, but I don't know whether you'll be able to see it or not, but I can see my reflection in the black, so I think that's, I think I did a pretty good job. I got those, I got to paint up the bolts yet for the tire. And I gotta clean up that hub and this side of the spindle there, because they're a little bit uh, unclean yet. I have that whole final drive, if you want to call it that, housing wire brushed down. I just have to primer it, wipe it down, primer it. Uh, the pedal's done. I just have to wipe it down, primer it. Want to get the other side, the brake and stuff like that, all done. I'm going to uh, put that brace back on and I'll take this brace off. I'm just keeping it on there so I know how the other one goes back together. Because that's the smart thing to do. Well, putting that tire on, the tire fell over and I had a bunch of parts sitting right on the other side of it there. Including like the hydraulic control guide. Which, we'll call it Exhibit A. It kind of lost the battle against that 200 pound tire. So, I'm going to stick it in the vise and straighten it out, hopefully. But that really don't matter for me for that. My biggest worry is I bent that box up. The back part of the box, which, right here, it's bent up a little bit. And the uh, screws were still in it. So, I think it's must be this one. No, this one. The screw is still in it, and it bent the screw, and it kind of opened up the hole a little bit. So I'm going to have to drill and tap new holes. I stuck the battery box on just to get it off the floor. The inside still needs painted yet, but other than that, all the outside's painted. Got this secure. I don't know why I did that. Probably because I'm tired of having it flop around. Other than that, I need to tape off the radiator and get the other wheels done, throw them back on. Hope to get a new wiring harness. And after that, I think I'm just going to start throwing everything back together and painting it. And I hope that everything goes back together perfectly. Yeah. And I got a little, just a slight oil leak right there out of that seal. It didn't leak until I painted it. Go figure. Didn't even start to leak when I had primer on. As soon as I painted it, yeah, it started to leak. Leaking right out of the seal right there. So, I'm just going to let it leak. Dad says it's been leaking for a while now, but I've never noticed it. Especially when I had white primer on it, you would have think I would have noticed. But So, it's leaking now. I'm going to let it leak. And once it's done, I'm going to fill it with grease. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Uh, other than that, I have the brake in. I'm just going to take and get it all adjusted up, hopefully. Get the spring in there. That could be a job, getting just a spring in there. Then I'll put that brace back on, and I'll mount this side up, hook the brake side on this side up. Uh, and then tear that side off, sandblast that. i got to finish sandblasting the rim, I just got the inside done. I'm going to have to go to Lowe's get more sand. I put my last bag of sand in the 
sandblaster. Hopefully, I'm going to be smart and leave this hub together instead of trying to take it apart and have to fight with getting it back together like the other one, which is a complete bear.